My Patreon members' current terminal subclade is IY99028, which dates approximately to 1321 CE, according to family tree DNA age estimates. This subclade most certainly originated in Ireland, most likely in the area of Waterford. His earliest known patrilineal ancestor emigrated from Waterford, Ireland to the USA in the mid 1800s. Waterford is located in southeastern Ireland and had historical influences from the Norse Vikings during the Viking Age and later on with the Normans starting in the 12th century. I normally don't bring up surnames in my videos for privacy reasons, but I believe that my Patreon member is directly related to a historical figure. I believe he's related to the family of Sir Robert de la Porre, either directly to him or to one of his brothers. In the year 1177 CE, King Henry II of England granted Sir Robert several estates in Waterford, Ireland. Sir Robert and several of his brothers would settle the region. The Le Poer family would build a castle at Dunhill, Waterford, Ireland, and this would be the power base of the family for many centuries. My Patreon member's surname is a variation of Le Poer, and he has surname matches going all the way back to the IY17704 subclade, which dates approximately to 1124 CE. I believe that this subclade could have originated in Sir Robert's father, especially if my Patreon member descends from one of Sir Robert's brothers. When I looked at my Patreon member's block tree, I saw a lot of branching and a lot of MPEs, which I believe is indicative of a powerful ruler in that area during that time period, having lots of proficient sons and grandsons who would have both legitimate kids and probably illegitimate kids through various mistresses. Sir Robert's patrimonial forefathers were Normans with origins in Northern France. The exact location in Northern France is unknown though. I've read some online sources that claim Picardy and others that claim Brittany. Now my Patreon member has another match with the IFGC 67519 branch, which dates approximately to 1073 CE, that also claims Ireland for their earliest known patchy country of origin. And this person also has a Norman surname. That being said though, I don't think this branch originated in Ireland, since it predates the Norman invasion by a century. After the Norman conquest of England in 1066, and prior to the Norman invasion of Ireland in the 12th century, the Lepore family was living in the region of Devon, England, which is shaded in red in the following map. I believe the patrilineal divergence with his other Norman surname match occurred here in Devon, England, rather than in Ireland. Perhaps there was some type of MPE between the two patrilineal lines, but being from the same community, they would have the same incentives to invade Ireland later on. I believe that my Patreon members, patrilineal forefathers, entered Northern France with the Danish Vikings. Even though his forefathers might not have actually settled in Normandy itself, as you can see from the following map, the Danish Vikings had an influence all over Northern France. My Patreon member has subclade matches with the IBY391 branch, which dates approximately to 400 CE, with individuals that claim Denmark and Northern Germany for their earliest known patrilineal countries of origin. A new preprint was recently released titled Step Ancestry in Western Eurasia and the Spread of the Germanic Languages. To quote the preprint, quote, During the migration period, we detect a previously unknown northward migration back into southern Scandinavia, partly replacing earlier inhabitants and forming the North Germanic speaking Viking Age populations of Denmark and southern Sweden, corresponding with historically attested Danes, end quote. I feel that this quote helps explain why my Patreon member has subclade matches that claim Denmark 
and northern Germany for the earliest known patrilineal countries of origin. His patrilineal forefathers were most certainly Danes, and this explains how they ended up in northern France. Now, my Patreon member does not have any close ancient DNA connections. His closest ones branched apart from him with the IL-849 branch, which is over 4,000 years old. So it's not relevant to his patrilineal narrative. These common patrilineal ancestors from over 4,000 years ago were most certainly living in Sweden at the time. To further quote the preprint, quote, large-scale Bronze Age migration within Scandinavia originating in the east and becoming widespread to the west and south, thus providing a new potential driving factor for the expansion of the Germanic speech community. End quote. This explains how his patrilineal forefathers could have originated in Sweden over 4,000 years ago, but by the time of the migration period could have emigrated to the region of present day Denmark slash northern Germany. Any ancient DNA connections with East Germanic tribes that connect to his patrilineal line over 4,000 years ago are simply the result of these common patrilineal ancestors living in Sweden at that time. How can we rule out his forefathers entering Waterford, Ireland during the Viking Age and then simply adopting Norman surnames later on? Well, for me, there are two major reasons why. First, Ireland was primarily settled by Norse Vikings from Norway. And my Patreon members' subclade matches are from Northern Germany and Denmark, which correlate better with the Danes. That heat map comes from the 2020 study, Population Genomics of the Viking World. Second, if there was a Viking Age entrance into Waterford, Ireland, then I would expect to see earlier branching than 1073 CE. This date correlates much better with the Norman conquest of England in 1066. What else can we learn from my Patreon members' STR data? Well, he has 25 Y111 matches, and many of them have different surnames. So ideally, it would be great to have them all upgrade to big Y700 so we know exactly where to place them on the haplotree. tree. Lastly, one of these Y111 matches only has a genetic distance of four to my Patreon member. So I think if you were to upgrade to big Y700, together they would form a new subclade more recent in time than his current terminal subclade from the 1300s. Thanks for watching.